Alright guys, so it's not a typical video. Um you guys didn't know last week was anime expo, so that's why uh I don't that's one of the reasons why I don't have a video out for which do I prefer. Um another reason is well first off let me just start by saying I'm gonna start doing bi weekly updates on the weeks that I'm not doing, you know, my mainstream videos, my mainline videos, like, which do I prefer, uh, GG Anime, Real Talk, uh, anytime I'm not doing one of those, this is gonna come out, this, uh, one of these videos are gonna come out, and they're just gonna be, like, small little update videos to keep you guys posted on the progress and such on certain videos and whatnot, so, the which do I prefer video, I already have everything done, I just need to record it, and you know, upload it, but obviously that's not going to be coming till next week. Now, the reason why I wasn't recording last, why I didn't record it last week, is because I was at Anime Expo, so I was there with uh, my friends, you know, just doing whatever, chilling out and whatnot at the convention, you know, going to panels, enjoying some stuff. Uh, I met Miles Luna, Carrie Shawcross, Grey Haddock, Jack Splade, uh, my childhood hero, Johnny Young Bosch, you know, uh, the Team Four Star guys, Something Witty, Little Karibo, you know, uh, just all these, all these amazing people who, who, uh, were some of my big influences, uh, as a YouTuber, they're some of my big influences and one of the reasons why I even started doing YouTube, but, um, so now on to the main reason why I did not upload a video last week and that is because I crashed my car. I crashed my car, completely totaled it. There was there's no hope for it to um to be fixed or repaired or anything. It's completely gone. They took it to the junkyard on Monday too. So yeah, that's another reason uh why I didn't record and I I just I didn't have the energy to do it. It was, it was physically draining. It was I was physically drained, emotionally drained, and mentally drained, all at the same time. Physically, physically drained because you know the convention. It's a lot of walking. Uh, you know, couldn't. There was no. There was no entering, uh, entering, exiting from the parking structures inside the convention center. <clears throat> And ev so everywhere uh, we went to like eat or whatever, we uh, my friends and I had to walk, even just to get to certain panels and certain areas and whatnot. We had to walk everywhere, so it was a lot of walking. So I was physically exhausted. Uh, I'm glad I got to see a lot of my friends, the, like even the ones that I didn't that I didn't go with, uh, ones that were ones that went, and you know I decided to meet up with. I met up with a lot of them during the convention. So. That was that was a fun time. So there are some friends that I haven't seen for a few months already, so it was it was a good it was a good time altogether. But um, yeah, so the crash was so that's why I was physically drained. Also because of the crash on last Friday, when I crashed, the seatbelt kind of pushed me back from my shoulder over here, and because I crashed on the driver's side, my other shoulder kind of got hit when the door got. Uh, jammed in a bit, but um, yeah, relatively speaking, I'm fine. Uh, just I'm I'm in I am in some pain with mainly with my back and my shoulders and whatnot because that's what took most of the impact was that my shoulder, my back, and whatnot. Had I not been wearing my seatbelt, I would have smashed into the windshield. Uh, thankfully, when the airbag deployed, it didn't hit me directly in the face. Uh, cause I was wearing my hat, so I did feel like it stopped, it stopped at the bill of the hat, and my hat flew out the window, uh, it flew out the window and underneath my car, so my hat got run over, uh, I can actually show it to you guys, like, this hat, this hat you guys have seen, uh, you guys could see clearly that, like, it got run over, and luckily, it's in good shape, good condition, still usable. Uh, just need to like 
physically wash it or whatnot. But other than that, uh, I'm I'm fine. And it's just uh, you know, small little things that happened um, with the crash, and so that's another reason why I was physically drained. Uh, now for the mental drain is a little bit different. The mental drain was mostly just trying to process what had happened with the crash and it was it was a lot of there's no way this actually happened like I'm I was such a careful like I'm I'm a really careful driver when I drive because you know I usually drive with other people inside the car with me and I don't want to frighten them when I'm driving or whatever even just by myself to avoid accidents or whatnot I don't want to get hurt so I've always been kind of a careful driver so when it happened how it happened was uh, was going on a it was kind of a curving exit two lanes one led to downtown the other one led to Pico Boulevard which is where the convention center is located on and I was heading to the Pico Boulevard exit someone was apparently driving behind me and decided that I was going too slow so they moved to the other lane sped up and cut me off and they cut me off to the point where I was close to hitting their their rear bumper so I swerved out of the way to avoid hitting them and I ended up slamming into the wall like I said it was only two lanes so there was a wall on both so there was a wall on both sides and hit the wall car smashed totaled um everything else worked fine but the engine would not start like I turned the engine on it turned on and I reversed for a bit and it just stopped it just went kaput and it didn't move anymore and that was a lot of the mental drain that came from it uh, another part of the mental drain that came from it was having to deal with a certain someone who was just getting on my nerves um, throughout the convention because uh, they were just uh, they were they, they were not really helping me like I was I was kind enough to give them a ride and everything but um, you know it was just they, they are one of my friends and it's just I, I told them that I have no problem giving them a ride or anything just to not expect me to keep something quiet when I'm trying to stay awake on the drive home because we usually we left the convention center uh, towards towards the night time uh, day one we didn't get back home till like 12 a.m. and then day two we left my house at 9 a.m. Uh, you know just grabbed whatever I needed and then went off on my way so a lot of the mental stress was from that and then also having my friend who came from uh, two hours down um, two hours further down from where I am came up uh, to stay with me for anime expo and it was just a little bit mentally taxing for me to prepare uh, to prepare stuff for him you know just to make sure he had a good time because it was his first anime expo and I just wanted to make sure he had a really good time and everything and then so a lot of that stuff was like just preparations for my friends and uh, my mom and whatnot and just keeping everything you know trying to handle everything nice and steady by myself so that's where a lot of the mental drain came from now the emotional drain was mostly from the crash and a fight that I had with my friend earlier um, so the fight was uh the fight was over me trying to stay awake the first night so so as to avoid crash because my cousin died in a car crash so i just didn't want to you know crash my car and be and end up like my cousin <clears throat> so that's the fight was literally just me trying to stay awake and my friend complaining because she wanted to sleep in the car which, you know, it's not really helping me when people are falling asleep in the back seat and I can see them falling asleep through the rear the rear view mirror. So that was one of the emotional well that's something that was emotionally taxing. The second part that was emotionally taxing was of course the crash. Because immediately after I crashed, like I had realized that I screwed up really badly. Because it's it's my mom's it was my mom's van. Her like <sighs> we've had that van since I since I was about five years old maybe maybe six or seven we've had that van for a really long time like if you guys don't know I'm 19 almost turning 20 um, 
we've had that van for a really long time. Uh, you know, it was just sort of a um, kind of like family kind of thing, you know. Like, my mom gave it to my sister, my sister gave it uh, to my stepdad, my stepdad gave it to me. And I was, it, we were we were under trying to get the van transferred over to my name and whatnot so that my stepdad wouldn't have to worry too much about insurance coming to bite him. But, you know, but um, things didn't, just didn't turn out the way they did. And so that's where a lot of the emotional drain came from. And I just... I did not want to record, I just didn't want to speak to anybody, so like, when my friends and I went the last two days, well my friend and I went the last two days for Anime Expo, it was literally just us going to the convention center, separated, did our own things, met up, and then got picked up and brought back home, and that was, that was that, that was the set, that was the third day, that was the last day with my friend, because his cousin came to pick him up and drove him back home and day three was just me or day four was just me my cousin didn't go my other friends didn't go I was the only one that went and it it kind of sucks because I paid for my ticket my cousin's ticket and said friend that I had a fight with I that's three tickets that I paid for mine and my friend's tickets I bought those two together, so that was $130 because of the stupid bad shipping that they did not refund us for at all. Even though we went to pick up our badges, I was like, that was $130 right there on those two badges. On top of that, my cousin's badge cost $120 on its own. So you can see where I, where I frustrated emotionally because of that money just going straight to waste because they didn't even finish the convention. My my cousin stopped going on. He stopped after day two. He wasn't feeling well and he didn't even give me the badge so I can take another friend to go with me. And my other friend, she just decided not to even finish the convention and whatnot. She didn't. <sighs> it, was, it was just annoying for me, you know, because I... I paid for the tickets, and I bought their badges, and, you know, it's just, just feels like I lost a lot of money, and then I had to pay the money for the tow truck, and I still owe, I still owe my mom some money, because she helped me pay for the tow truck, too, and it's just a lot that's been going on, so I've had to postpone some things, some important life-changing things already, because of this one event that could have been avoided had someone, had someone including myself, been a little bit more careful while getting, trying to get to the convention center, you know? Um, <clears throat> so that's why last week's video didn't come out. It's going to be moved to next week. That, that will be next week's video. And, like, I, it just it sucks, but it's something that had to happen. And, you know, like, stuff happens sometimes, and life doesn't always go the way you plan. And, like, I mean, I I should probably just live by what I always end my videos with. Like, you guys know by this point now what it should be. But it's just, it's frustrating for me right now. And I have to stay with this, with the job that I have right now. And I, there's a lot of drama going on over there. And I just, I, I don't need that right now. And I know I won't get approved for a leave because I was denied a leave a while ago when I asked for it as well so I'm just gonna try to figure out how to do everything during this time and try to get things taken care of try to get chiropractor recommendations so I can at least help realign my spine after the crash just a lot of things happening and that's why I decided to do these bi-weekly updates starting with today's you know just let you guys know how everything's going on and if things progress as planned I do have a court date later because of the crash because there's no evidence that another car was there because immediately after they cut me off and I crashed they just sped away <sighs> but I, I don't know how I'm going to end up dealing with most of the stuff a lot of it is just me trying to 
find another mode of transportation, get another car, of course, take care of whatever I need to take care of. But that's really all I can tell you guys. And that's about all that I have to say. So, you know, you guys know the gist. This is Vash Steel signing out. And gotta remember this. This too will pass.